so it's possible to subscribe to channels on YouTube. That's quite useful because we'll be notified when they have new videos. Um, if we subscribe on YouTube itself, then when that person who's creating the video makes it public, they can put a note in the release and possibly have special offers and things. So there's added benefits of being a subscriber. Sometimes, unfortunately, when we subscribe, the person who's creating the videos knows who all their subscribers are because they can look in Creator Studio and it shows them a list of their subscribers and we might want to subscribe to essentially competition. We might not want the person to know who we are subscribing to. We can export our subscriptions to an RSS reader. How do we know we can do that? Well, if I go into in the notifications for manage all subscriptions, right at the bottom, it says export to RSS readers, export subscriptions as an OPML file. In my news reader, I use news blur. On the home page, I can do import sites. It will import the OPML file. And then it will create a big list of YouTube subscriptions. So I can subscribe on YouTube, export it as an OPML file, then in Newsblur, my RSS reader, I can have all the notifications for new videos coming through in RSS. And what's interesting about this is it means that every single channel on YouTube has an RSS feed. So if I have a look here, I can see the basic format of the subscription. So what I need is this URL and I need the channel ID for the channel. So let me take that, copy that into here. And this is what an RSS feed looks like in the browser. If I view page source, we can see it's just an XML file and it has all the details for all the most up to date videos. So if I went into YouTube, I'll, let's pick a random channel. <laughs> this is where it gets dangerous. Let's pick a random channel. Uh, what will I search for? I will search for software reliability. That's nice and safe. There we go. I don't know who this is. Let's have a quick look. They've only got two videos. That's fine. What I'm interested in here is not their channel. What I'm interested in, so no offense to them, I'm not interested in your channel, but what I'm interested in is what does YouTube tell me about your channel? So here, look, here is the channel ID for this channel. So I could take it out of that URL there, put it into the URL we've got here. Let's just double check, there's their videos. I could take this URL, go back into my RSS reader, add a site, copy in that URL, add site. Now, at the moment in Newsblur, it's untitled simply because we haven't refreshed it. So in Newsblur, all I have to do is InstaFetch and it's brought the RSS feeder. So now I'm subscribed to that channel. I'm just going to delete that because I don't necessarily want to be subscribed to that channel. Sometimes when you go into uh, YouTube, you don't see the channel ID up here. So we have to figure out how we can find it. Now, normally we can find it in the code. So I don't know the rules around how YouTube does this. I'm just going to view the source this time. Let's see if that helps. So sometimes in the source, YouTube has the actual RSS feed that you need, but sometimes it isn't. What I have seen in the source all the time is this meta tag for channel ID, which has the channel ID. So I could just go into a channel, view source, get the channel ID. And there's probably other ways of getting the channel ID that are better um, or more consistent but this tends to be how I do it because I, sometimes when I'm looking in the inspect view, I don't always see it. Another way is every channel has a subscribe button. If I inspect that subscribe button, what we'll see is in the subscribe link is the channel ID. It's always in the subscribe link. So you have a couple of ways of getting the channel ID. Sometimes it's in the URL. It's generally in the metadata in the channel ID field. It's always in the subscribe button. And when you have that, all you do is take this URL pattern, youtube.com slash feed slash video dot XML, question mark, channel underscore ID equals, then the channel ID. I'll put this URL in the description for this video so you can find it. And once we have that, we copy that, add it to our RSS reader, and then we're subscribed. I use news blur as my RSS reader. It has a free subscription as well as a paid one, but I, f I find Newsblur very good. There are other RSS readers. I can't recommend them because I don't use them, but I use RSS all the time and it's my way of keeping up to date with the news. So now that I use this for the YouTube as well, I can potentially monitor my competitors on YouTube if I want to, but using RSS on YouTube is a good idea.